Pretty cute, and I went on a little fun trip with my sister again to Cardiff. So I'll just um, show you what I got. I'm doing this not on my desk because my desk doesn't have enough space. So, first up, we went to this um, Eastern Asian uh, supermarket. So, first, I got this to try out. It's got mini egg rolls with seaweed, so, laundry. Pretty nice to check it out. So next up, I got some Haichu uh, chewy strawberry flavored candy. And next up, I got this big uh, pot noodles. It's a shin noodle, and it is a spicy variety. I don't think I've tried this one before, I can't remember. But, from the uh, same brand, we got the uh, Shin Ramyun Spicy. Yeah, so, those are what I got there. I probably won't, I don't really, we don't, I don't have a receipt for this because the machine didn't work. But I got um, some of, some medium fries and some spicy chicken nuggets, which I haven't eaten yet, obviously, because I'm home now and it's evening. <laughs> okay, so next up, oh wait, 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 one more. So, pork missing ramen so that's what I got um, from thingy here <clears throat> anyway next up well the next shop is um, I'll just get this out of the way next up we got Poundland so what I got here is this six pack of washi tape. There are two meter rolls, by the looks of it. So that's that stuff. Then I got some incredible st under the sea stamp set. Well, that's what they call it on the receipt, anyway. Yeah, under the sea stamp set. So this. As an octopus, starfish, pufferfish, and a seashell. I thought they were pretty cute. They're, um, I guess, self thinking, I'm guessing. So, like that. Then I got some address labels because I'm running out. <laughs> then we have a uh, Let It Snow little uh, paper pack. And then I suppose it's good for making. Cards, so I'm gonna try my hand at that, I guess. So there's that one, then there's this one. Also, they were basically that one was 25p, the other one's 25p, this one was a pound. Yeah, so like there's this one. Oh, by the way, each of them are a 6x6 paper packs, so like eight designs, 24, she 24 sheets. So there's that one. And the last one is this Christmas moments. Got a pretty designs. All of them. Pretty designs. And cupcakes. But yeah, anyway. These are the things that I got from Poundland. So let me put this bit away and I will show you the next store I went to. Next up, we have the works. So, this is um, A4 white card, 30 sheets, just for a pound. Then we've got these. One's a pound, but it's sale for 50p. Some like glittery feather embellishment. Basically, there's things on padded, like foam padded sticker bits. I mean, I thought they'd be 
cool and you probably realized I already bought it once but I couldn't resist and it's a sale and it's not fall. It's a peep. But anyway, um next up we've got this. On sale for a pound was two pounds. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, why did I have to count? It says six right there. It's a six pack of ombre washi tape. So that's pretty cool uh Gradients there. That's good. And lastly, we have another six pack. These are the iridescent wash tapes. Wash tape, craft tape. Same thing, isn't it? And these are so shiny and reflective. More reflective than shiny, I think. That's so good. Anyway, that's what I got from the works. So I only spent like one, two, three, three fifty at the works this time. <laughs> So, um, let me put this away and I'll show you the next store. This is Casper's Desserts. And that's where it is. And we, my sister and I, we had a strawberry and cream crepe each. She had a mango dream smoothie. They also come with a side of fresh vanilla ice, soft scoop ice cream. And um, I had the Astro Strawberry Peach Delight Smoothie, which also has um, papaya in it. Um, technically, actually, I haven't tried it yet. I took it home, and I put it in a water bottle that, you know, I took home. It's a, right here. <laughs> um, I, I was too full after the crepe to actually drink anything, so, yeah. So, um, I got the, uh, the McDonald's on the way home and I didn't actually eat anything apart from like two fries when they were still hot but anyway that is so good crepe like really really good okay so um the uh, pictures of the crepe and everything will be up right now You know, I thought I'd just lay it all out here. This, if you didn't realize, is Tesco Express. And I didn't get a receipt for that. But anyway, normally I also keep the receipt so I can pay my sister back. But I actually had some money on me just to buy this. <laughs> okay, so two Texas barbecue flavor Pringles. Love this flavor. This is the flavor that my sister got me for Christmas, that uh, uh, fire roasted jalapenos. Awesome! Um, yes, these were like £2.50 each. Probably why mom doesn't like giving me Pringles because they're, first they're junk food and second because they're 2 50 each. Anyway, so here we have these Oreo things. It's a new bigger pack. There's four little packs in a box. And it was only 90p, so I thought, yeah, sure. And I like Oreo Thins more than the normal Oreos, for some reason. It's got a, it's more of a, got a, got a bite to me, a crunch. I, I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> Pringles overboard. Okay. Um, now we got some roasted pistachio nuts. Um, <clears throat> salted. Um, normally, I don't do much nuts, but um, I do like pistachios. One of the main nuts that I like. Cashews when they're cooked, I like too. Not when they're not cooked. And just... Yeah, anyway. Um, but normally I don't eat very much nuts because I can't have them because they have so much fiber. Like, per 25 grams is 2.9 grams of fiber, and per 100 grams is 150 gram bag is 11.6 grams of fiber. So obviously I can't eat the whole bag in one sitting because also I, I can't eat anyway, but um, I'd have to pace myself with this because I'm a low fiber diet because I don't have parts of my intestines for that. So, I'm moving these aside so I don't fall off the bed. And we have the awesome beef jerky. I love beef jerky. Yeah, normally I, 
I like in the past I've been getting like the Wild West brand but these ones taste just just as fine and they're cheaper because Wild West brand slightly bigger bag but like 230 or 250 and these ones were only 280 I mean 180 175 sorry 175 this one was 185 why are the nuts more than beef jerky maybe because there's more nuts anyway this was my Tesco snack uh, restock, I would say. I love beef jerky, that's why I got three bags. But anyway, I love Pringles, but I didn't have enough money to spare for an, a, third can, a, a third can. Anyway, yes, that, that, that is that stuff. Now we're on to the last two shops, I believe. So I'm going to that. Next up, we have water stones. Now I had to upgrade. Technically, you can transfer anything over anymore because I passed the, de the deadline, but I didn't have anything on my other card, so that's fine. Um, because I forgot to bring my other card, like the original one, or an old, old one, um, to my shop when I went to Waterstones last. So I kept the receipt and they transferred the, the points or stamps or whatever they did onto this one, which is great because now because the other one had was worth like 11 stamps or something and this shop just now was worth one stamp so what I got was these okay first off it's half price yeah, I've been going crazy with stamps today um, I thought this was pretty cool this um, and we got some from and airmail it even comes with a little blue what does it say? neon blue ink pad okay uh, neon blue, but okay. Um, anyway, it's half price because the original price is a uh, whopping we'll, we'll about $9.99, and I got half price of that, so that's good because otherwise I probably wouldn't have got it if it wasn't half price. <laughs> this was also half price. I just love the feel of it, but also the look of it. I mean, look, it is so shiny and like old, like fancy smancy looking, isn't it? And this is a 2020 diary, week at a time, horizontal format, paper blanks, um, brand, I guess. And it's a whopping $15.99, but as I said, half off, so that's why I got it. And like, this is, uh, Recall Tones and a Pedigree History make this diary exactly the thing to add a flourish of extravagance to your life. The original binding hails from Urbino, the legendary walled city in the marsh region of Italy, and was printed in 1755. A little history lesson for you there. <laughs> Week at a time horizontal format, removable mini address book, extra note pages, memento pouch, reference pages, and two ribbon page markers. So I thought this was pretty neat. And, you know, it's got this little elastic -y. Yeah. thing to close it with but like this is like you know the basic name phone number in case of emergency name of the other person We've got some national holidays and celebrations in 2020 another note section here we got 2020 like the year like a whole total overview of the year right there. That's very handy. And it's got a month-to-month uh, -month planner like um, view of it there, see? Then got some more note sections you can like two more pages. Then this is the year and it's got a week to week, I think it said in it. Monday to Sunday, with a little month in the corner, like an overview of the month, and the uh, highlight, so like a squared section of which which you're looking at, and a tiny like little note section right here. That's very handy. Super. I'm mainly going to use this for the deadlines of the Kickstarters and backing, to be honest, but there we go. Um, 
but at the moment I need on a spare piece of paper, which I'll probably lose somewhere. Okay, so that's December done. So we have international holidays. Wait a minute. From the, from the front, what did it say? National holidays. Okay, international holidays. That makes more sense. Ooh, it's got a different different um things like it's got different countries that's what I'm saying so it's like it's got uh, Australia Austria Belgium Canada Czech France Germany Italy Japan Netherlands Poland Portugal Slovakia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and the USA. Uh -huh. The technically Christmas Day should be the same every single country. Anyway, so like here's another note section bit. Also, it's got a 21 year overview and 21 national holidays. It's got a 21-year planner kind of thing, which is very handy. Ooh, it's got world time zones in this thing. That's nice. And international dialing codes. That's very useful. Because obviously, um, for the UK, it should be plus, yes, plus 44. I can't really see it very well on this. This camera still does not autofocus, which is important. There we go. World time zones. Then it's got conversions for clothes sizes, measurements, temperature. It's got the whole shebang in this thing. It's got some birthdays and important dates, travel planning, and a whole section on notes. By the way, this is all notes. And some more notes. You can tell I'm not attended. Okay. This is awesome. And here is like the uh, address. Yeah. Removable address book. Some blank pages in the back. It's got, by the looks of it, telephone, mobile. Email. And it's got like little. Though it doesn't. Though technically it says it's a removable address, but they don't actually give the space to put address, like an actual street address in there. Anyway, this is like the, the pouch thing. Okay, easy pouch. Like a kangaroo. Anyway, so I'll just put this back in here. Come on. Okay. Anyway. So that was it. Uh-huh. There, put it back. So that is a long winded section of the water stone. Because this is only like, I took eight pounds off this planner thing, I mean, you know, 2020 diary. They took off five pounds from this. So basically, that's all good. Good stuff. Uh, my sister got a 2020 diary thing too. But anyway, that's how they show their stamp thing. Anyway, 
So that was the water stuff. On to the last store. Yeah, last store, which I did kind of splurge, but like everything was half off. <laughs> so, yeah, on to it. This is the last store. Of course, these stores are not in the order we went to them. But, uh, yes, I mainly went for the loyalty card, which is right here. It's so pretty, don't you think? <clears throat> but in the end, I spent quite a bit. So, um, I got these two erasers. Large plastic erasers, the Swordfish brand, and a Pentel high polymer eraser. I wasn't sure which one would erase with the least smudges or very efficiently, so I got both of them to try them out. I think they were like £1.25 each. So those are these two. The next up, we have a whole handful of washi tape. These are the Christmas ones. So, um, I'll just um, go, go through them. Some of them I did actually, if you saw my Instagram, I did actually buy four. But, um, these were on sale. <laughs> so, yeah. I did it again. I bought it again. But I didn't see what happened. Dad bought it. <laughs> okay, so these are the, the washi tape. So I'll just go through them. This is this one. They were each 50p. And they used to be, like, them really expensive. Cause like it went down to 199, then it went down from 225, then it was like what four or five fifty originally. So so glad I went today because they were all 50p each. And um, I, I took the time of uh, keeping the price tag. See, there's there's a lot of 50ps there. Um. <clears throat> That's for my scrapbook, if you didn't know. Because I put really weird things in there. <laughs> Here is the uh, key present one. I got two of these ones. I got one of these because it's not really a favorite design, but I did want to add it to my collection. So technically right now I've got three of these. <laughs> three of these key ones. And I got one of these because, uh, well, I do already have one, but... I feel like I needed three, so I only got one. Because I already have one. Okay, next up. Is these. Like, I never actually bought either of these last time, so I bought two of these this time around. So this one is Shortcake. I guess that's what the title is. Just cakes. I like cakes. Well, some cakes. Some cakes I can't have. Like fruit cake. I can't eat that. For mince pies, those aren't really cakes, but they're dessert. Ooh, Yule log. That's basically a glorified Swiss roll. But anyway, I think that's what I'm called anyway. <laughs> Here is this lovely one. got some really lovely gold foiling on it, that's for sure. Look how shiny that is. So, yes, I couldn't resist for 50p each. That was basically a steal, as they say. <laughs> so, so far, just that. Now, as I told you before, I went on a bit of a stamping buy through here. <laughs> so I've got this one. It says teeny stamp set. Eight mini stamps and ink pad. So those are those animals. We got a cat, duck, dog, pig, sheep, 
No idea that is. Is that a cow too? What is that? <laughs> More of a chicken and a cow. Like a proper cow. I have no idea what that is though. That's that one. Next up, in our little camping spree, are these flowers and a butterfly and a dolphin. Why a butterfly and a dolphin? I can understand the ladybug and the butterfly, but not the dolphin in this flowery get up here. So that's that one. Next up, we have the animal mini stamp set. So we have a cow, zebra, monkey, giraffe, panda, koala, lion, and a sheep. So I think I really got that for the panda. <laughs> and the koala. I don't know. So cute. The monkey's cute and the sheep's cute. Oh, it's so cute. And you can sort of see what they look like on the bottom there. Anyway, so that's that one. So the next. The last stamp is a garden mini stamp set. So here we've got a bird, um, an owl, bumblebee, flowers, another flower, another flower, a ladybug, and a butterfly. And luckily, they are different designs than these ones, as you see. Different designs, which is nice. But not different designs. Why I suddenly am having a, a stamp spree. I have no clue. Because as you know on my Poundland section I did get four under the sea stamps. <laughs> and these stamps here, then there's these ones from Waterstones. And yeah, I just I'm sometimes on the brain of maybe making some cards and this would be like decorating. I like stamps. Okay, last one. Yes. Flag's empty now. So lastly, we have two things. This is a present for my brother. I'm going to show you because I doubt he actually watches these. <laughs> and I don't think he does anyway. And he loves Superman. This is like a collectible figurine and pendant kit. That's what it says. So yeah. And it comes with a 48 page book on Superman featuring full color illustrations. It's like the uh, Harry Potter version ones, which Mentioning Harry Potter, dun, dun, dun. we got one. This is a Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle and sticker book. It lights up. It lights up. This will look great with my other Harry Potter little figures on my figure shelf. And I like stickers, so yeah. Cause I actually have like the. Uh, Harry Potter wand and Voldemort wand version of this, and the snitch version, I think, of this. Was it a snitch version? I think it was. Anyway, yeah. In the end, I think I'm actually going to end up collecting most of these. <laughs> but I really want to get for this figure and it lights up. And it'd be so cool. So yes. This one, however, was $9.99. But luckily, Luckily, everything that I looked at anyway was half off. That was like a steal because like the original pricings on this, okay, those all 50p's were the washi tapes. $9.99 was this, this beauty. $5.99 was the Superman thing. $1.25 were the erasers. Two of these were four, I think, and two of them were four, four twenty-five. So that's all the prices on there. And by the way, it is it is there. The 
Royal Arcade. It's a very lovely shop. But yeah, guess I have fifty percent off. Lots of stuff. So I just have to work out which ones are mine because my sister bought some stuff too. <laughs> so I can figure out how much I owe her. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I did probably have, because I brought in my previous receipt, which I, which was this one. Yeah, it's good. Points given on it. He wrote on it. Anyway, 67 and 20. I spent last time. I think that was mostly me. <laughs> Maybe a couple was my sister, but it was mostly me for that one. So I've got, I think, almost a, uh, or exactly a five pounds off on my loyalty card for next time I spend there. Which will be a while. Like six weeks is so I think when my sister said she has half term off next. Okay, school will be resuming because the Christmas holidays are over or going to be over very, very, very soon. Yeah. That is everything I believe. This concludes my day out. Very productive, very, very expensive. I don't even want to think about it. Without adding these, it's already about 31. I know my sister. Oh boy. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Bring it over for notifications. Over and out.